Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us write the Python program to create this generative art which is based on the ripples formed when we throw the pebble into the pond. Consider the center of the circle where the pebble is fallen as x1, y1. Then the distance r1 to the center from the point x, y is square root of x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 the whole square and the height at x y is the amplitude multiplied by sine of 2 pi r1 divided by wavelength amplitude is the amplitude of the wave and wavelength again is the wavelength lambda for the wave now let us proceed to implement this in python code I have math, numpy and pylab packages imported into it. Before proceeding further, please support our channel by subscribing to it. Here the lambda takes the value of 5 and k is 2 times pi divided by lambda and let me define the variable positions to 500 so that it helps us to take 500 positions in the ripples formed. Now we will take two such ripples and their cumulative results which is nothing but wave interference by these two ripples. For that let us take this center point for this two circle separated by 20 points. So x1 is 60 and x2 is 40. And the y-axis is same for the two center circles. And let me have h as an array, two dimensional array for 500 positions. We are having h to hold the values of different x and y positions on the ripple which shall be used to calculate the height of the ripple at these points. So now first let us calculate the x and y values for 500 positions and store it into the array h. So for i in range of positions y is 0.2 times of i and for j in range of positions that is j for every i x equal to 0.2 times of j and as we know the distance r1 from x y is square root of x minus x1 the whole square plus y minus y1 the whole square which is used to calculate the height of our fun, uh, wave in terms of amplitude. So as we are going to consider two ripples with two different center points and separated by 20 units, R2 is again square root of x minus x to the whole square plus y minus y to the whole square. Now having both R1 and R2, the height and the wavelength is nothing but summation of the sine of these two heights. So, it's sine of k times r1 plus sine of k times r2 where k is 2 times pi by lambda and we have taken amplitude as 1 here. So, the summation is stored into the two-dimensional array h. And again to recollect it, k is 2 pi by lambda and lambda is 5 and we have taken amplitude as 1 and it is ignored in this formula. Before plotting it, please subscribe the video and also share with your friends. In the description, I have provided a link for other generative arts in Python. So using I am show, we will pass our H array and we will plot it for 0 to 100 units in both X and Y axis using HSV color. 
Now on execution of our code, we got the uh, generative art which is formed by interference created by two ripples. Hope you liked the video and the complete code walkthrough is as seen on the display.